Hello folks and students, let's welcome back another important tip. How to reprint output by using spool actually. Basically what happens in the support projects generally, they might not have access for SP01. So I will show you the what exactly the status of SP01. So how many times it is got reprinted also, certain times you will find an issues, okay. So repetition of the outputs, user might say that, you know, uh, this is not done by me actually okay so such a cases how do we handle this the situation okay so i'm just requesting you if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to get more inputs like this this is my all udemy courses currently i'm holding 5500 and plus students and successfully i have developed around 20 plus courses okay i'm just providing the list below of this video and if you really wanted to have an edge in the market, please subscribe my courses and try to get onto the practice. Okay, practice is more important, whatever you take. So you 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 directly go and sit with SAP company. Your practice is so important if you would like to get to settle down as true professional in SAP market. Okay, let me take this. Let's give a sales order you can apply the same thing for delivery you can apply the same thing for billing you can apply the same thing for anything for that matters okay so let's give a try for print so maybe i can take a couple of line items okay let's save this so i have saved this one okay so this is now triggered output a time okay i'm not I'm, so assume that accidentally it is failed or something like that so they're asking i would like to take the output especially this is this case useful for invoice documents you will get a tickets for invoice order acknowledgement that is okay fine whether you will have a notification certain times that is also must be so serious issue okay so let's go to sp01 okay now currently i have triggered this output okay this is completed that means with one pace it is triggered and let's go to va02 let's try to check the output for this okay so if you show output this is bn00 is the output actually you know this is the printout okay so here locl you can able to see the properties print options locl how many pages you want it that's what it happens certain times assume that may, because of xyz reasons if it is get failed then go to sp01 to repeat the output suppose he you supposed to trigger multiple times uh like uh, if how many you know printouts you want it for example this is for print directly this is print with change parameters certain times you can able to change the output so this output device is not uh, you know specific for this configuration certain times probably you have a chances you cannot able you cannot on your own cannot able to go immediately and change the output in vb11 or vb22 or vb32 order delivery and billing output change transaction i spoke about that you cannot able to do such a case what you can do this is very very important certain times you got any cbrt ticket so something need to be loaded and the truck can need to send your invoice supposed to send quickly of course this example is order acknowledgement i'm talking about any output for that matters whether print list or load list we have to send it quickly what do you have to do it such a case i'm telling you you can able to change the device instead of local device if you want pdf or else some other printer which is got activated so being a user probably like you know multiple printers might be configured for your system okay user specific such a cases you can able to do this so let's click this okay so if i click print directly okay one spool output request generated so i'm just uh, sharing on the system for this printout okay so okay and uh, let me try to do one more time. Okay. So two, I'm good. I'm just to show something status. I'm just repeating this one. Okay. So, so three printouts I uh, gave. Okay. So that is fine. So here you look at this output request, this button, if you click this, so 
So first one, it is automatically done. You repeat it three times. So this is how output request number will be generated by using the same spool request. That means you can able to print out. In the same minute I have done, right? So let me check one more time if you wanted to give a try. So the fifth will be generated. Okay. So that's the, that's the five number. That's the five number. People are saying, right, sometimes I'm just doing fun. That's okay. That's the five number. Let's try to check how many numbers we have. Again, it's the spool. Okay. All these are the numbers you got it. Okay. And this is how you can able to track it. Here you can able to track the date, time when it is triggered. And, you know, what is the output device and the format status, more importantly, you can able to see this. If you select certain spool, you can able to see this header. Okay, this is local and so this is not required. So this is priority and all the stuff actually. Okay, this is how the spool, if it is failed, you can able to repeat it. That's what I'm telling. Okay, this is how you can able to play with the system. Okay, that's it. So as of now, all spools got completed. Okay, so the same spool sometimes uh, with the help of background job also will be generated. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and you have to share the knowledge. That is what the importance it takes place in the market. And if you really want something, you can comment. I will try to give an answer at my best if I find some time. Thank you so much. Jai Bharat, have a great day. Wish you good luck and wish you all the best.